guys, it is Monday. I hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in today, guys. I hope everyone's having an awesome Monday. So today, we are talking about reasons why your guests, guys, are grossed out when they come to your house. All right, so five reasons why your friends, your family members, your guests are grossed out when they come and visit you. Reason number one, your guests are grossed out when they come to visit you is because you are not cleaning your guest bathroom. Now, you think you're cleaning your guest bathroom when you know that you have people on the way and you're trying to do a rush job. You go in and you wipe down the countertops. You may even swiffer and sweep the floors. You clean the toilet lid that big oval or round shaped thing. And then you lift that up and you clean the toilet seat. But where, guys, you are grossing your guests out is that you're not then lifting the seat and cleaning from underneath it. You know, sometimes if you have men in the house, um, they kind of, you know, miss the mark <laughs> sometimes. And so, They'll have little, you know, we're all adults here. Here, They'll have little pee circles underneath the seat. And so let's say you have male guests coming over to your house. I don't know if the men would typically or, you know, mind all that much if they saw a little urine stain on the seat. But, you know, everybody's house is different. You have that male guest come over. He uses the restroom and he didn't put the lid back down or the seat back down when he's finished. And then his wife goes in and she sees crusty dry on urine stains okay so that's gonna gross her out a little bit if you're not cleaning your bathroom what else are you not cleaning so some really quick things that you already have in your kitchen i know that will help you get that bathroom in shape when you are in a hurry is going to be vinegar vinegar and water really quickly go in there I, I keep vinegar and water in the spray bottle you guys know i am a huge fan of the vinegar and water cleaner that you can find at your local dollar tree so i keep that on hand also so if you know that you have some guests on the way but you don't really have time to do a top to bottom cleaning you can keep your vinegar and water on hand and just run in there and spray down your bathroom get that urine stain off that seat before it gets too crusty and people come over and what the vinegar does also guys is help to neutralize or you know deodorize that urine scent there's nothing worse than a urine smelling bathroom as a guest when you're going in there and then you absolutely don't want to have to see the urine all right so that's the first reason, okay? That's the first reason, guys, why you are grossing your guests out. When people come to your home, guys, you want them to feel welcome, you want them to come back, you want them to feel comfortable, and you don't want them going out here, you know, in the streets, telling the people that, you know, you keep a nasty house. So clean underneath that seat. All right, guys, so reason number two that your guests are grossed out when they come to your home is you're not cleaning that seal pan. Now, I don't know about you, but when I know that people are coming over, they've given me maybe an hour or two heads up, I'm not gonna really have time to go and pull out the ladder and get up there and get all of that thick dust off the ceiling fan. So you wanna make sure you are keeping your ceiling fans clean. Raise your hand in the comments if you know you have people coming over the ceiling fan is one of the things that you go and clean. I know I'm not one. I will clean the bathroom, I'll tidy up the kitchen, but the ceiling fan is one of those places, one of those areas in the home that we kind of neglect. So you wanna make sure you are doing that on a regular basis, all right? Simple ways, really easy ways that you can keep your ceiling fans clean, use a pillowcase, put it on the blade, pull the pillowcase off, all of your dust is in there. Of course, you want to make sure you are using a pillowcase that you no longer want. Also, what I like to do is put a little furniture polish on my ceiling fan. Blades, the furniture polish, helps to repel the little dust and particles. Now, 
While we are also here talking about ceiling fans, I want to mention the light fixtures that have a cover, okay? That's another way that kind of goes hand in hand with the ceiling fan with, uh, that grosses out your guests. You know, during the spring, and I wanna say here in our house during the winter, during the winter, little bugs, I don't know, little gnats, I don't know why they are attracted to the lights, but that's just the nature of little insects. But they will actually get into the little um, globes of your light fixtures, all right? Mine are good for doing it in the bathroom. The last thing you want is your guests to go in there and you got crusty urine on the seat and then they go to wash their hands and they look up and you guys got dead bugs in the light fixtures. So, Chain, uh, clean the dust off your ceiling fans and get those dead bugs out of your light fixtures, okay? Can you imagine sitting at somebody's dinner table? They have a really gorgeous light fixture, but it's like five dead bugs sitting above your head. I don't know if I wanna eat there. All right, so number three, guys, is going to be your refrigerator door handle. The refrigerator door handle can get greasy, it can get sticky, just really grimy, especially if you have those stainless steel refrigerators. Stainless steel refrigerators are gorgeous. They're beautiful. But if you get one fingerprint on that refrigerator, it is going to stand out. And then you couple that with, you know, gooey stuck on chocolate, ice cream, caramel sauce. It can be a mess. Now, your, fr your friends, when they come over, you know, they're going to give you a pass on certain items. But when they're going in and out of your kitchen, place where they're gonna put stuff in their mouth, they are expecting your kitchen to be clean, all right? They don't know how long the door handle on your refrigerator has been crusty yet. Also, they don't know what that crust is. That could be anything. So, leave nothing to chance and just make sure you are cleaning those refrigerator door handles. Again, that is one of those items that I think we as women are going to probably omit that one right along with the ceiling fan and even the bugs and the lights. We don't really think about that. We think about the bathroom, we make sure there's nothing on the floor, but I don't know if we're always thinking, oh, let me go and make sure I got that peanut butter and jelly off of the refrigerator door handle. I wouldn't want anyone coming to my house and putting their hands in gooey, sticky peanut butter and jelly, all right? So make sure you're cleaning those refrigerator door handles. While we are in the kitchen talking about the refrigerator, let us also mention the walls in your kitchen, your kitchen backsplash, the area over near your kitchen sink where your guests are probably going to go and wash their hands before eating anything. You wanna make sure the walls don't have old spaghetti sauce, grease, you know, you don't want too many crumbs hanging around over there. Just, you don't want to let your guests imagination start to run wild with them, okay? I don't want them trying to figure out what that red stuff is on my backsplash or how long that black stuff has been sitting back there. So make sure you are cleaning the walls in your kitchen, your backsplashes, and you know, just the areas over near your sink here again. This is an area that I feel gets a little bit overlooked when we are cleaning and preparing for, you know, I don't wanna say last, minute guests, but those guests that we know are coming over within the next hour or so, they didn't tell us yesterday, we're in your area and wanted to drop by. I don't know if we are going to necessarily go and start cleaning the backsplash in the kitchen. All right, so we wanna make sure on a regular basis that we are doing that. And finally guys, that last place that I think we kind of overlook when we are cleaning and preparing for guests to come over is going to be our sofa cushions, all right? I don't wanna come over to your house and have to move your baby's teething ring, pacifier, and an apple core, you know, from underneath the pillow so that I can have a good comfortable seat. So make sure if you are cleaning, if you have a little bit of advance notice, check those seat cushions, make sure your kids haven't left any surprises there for your guests, you know, a happy banana, you know, things like that. Make sure the uh, seat cushions aren't kind of sticky and gunky. I, um, what I did when, you know, Chase was smaller, we didn't eat all over the house and that kind of took care of that. We have one place we would eat, eat the kitchen, 
We didn't take food all over the house to eat. Let me know if you guys are that way. You know, when we visit other people's homes or even watching YouTube, I see, you know, families do different things, you know, different strokes for different folks. But let me know if you guys allow your family members to eat wherever they want to eat, especially when they're younger. You know, when you get teenagers, I don't think that's a problem, letting your kids take their food up to upstairs to their room or to their office or whatever. But um, as they're, when they're younger and they just love leaving a trail of crumbs like Hansel and Gretel. Is that Hansel and Gretel? I think so. <laughs> um, yeah, you just, you just got to eat in the kitchen when you're younger. I don't want you sitting on my sofa, you know, eating a sticky candy apple. But let me know what you guys do in your household. Well, that is it, guys. Those are the five reasons that I think guests are going to be most grossed out when they visit our homes. Let me know if you typically do clean these areas when you have guests stopping by. Don't forget also to let me know if you allow your kids to kind of eat all over the house when they were growing up. All right, thanks so much for stopping in today, guys, for today's video. Also, thanks so much for all the well wishes for Eric. He is doing much, much better. Still a little bit under the weather, but he is feeling a whole lot better. So thank you goes out to all of you who sent get well wishes his way. He really appreciates it. I appreciate it as well. And we will both see you all in the next video. Bye guys.